Hey guys, Sergeant Pepper back again for another video tutorial. Uh, this one's actually been a very long time coming. In this video, I'll be detailing step by step how to register, download, and install the Euro Truck Simulator 2 multiplayer mod. Pretty simple to do, although over our year or so of running online convoys, um, we've encountered quite a few people who have had problems doing this, so. I'll take you guys through and through as um, best I can, uh, given that I already have an account made for the website. I won't really truly be able to show all the steps involved with making a new account, but I'll give you guys the general idea for it, and hopefully it'll be enough to get you guys downloaded and installed yourself. Um, step one. You want to get into your favorite Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet browsing application that you have. Uh, once you're started up on that, navigate yourself to the ETS2MP.com website, and you'll hopefully come to the home page. Just like it looks here, maybe a little bit different depending on how old the video is, what specific advertisements you get, etc., etc. <laughs> So once you're here, you're going to be faced with two options. You've either got to log in or register. There is a download button, but that's not going to work until you either log in or register. Uh, you want to go ahead and log in if you've already made an account on the website, like uh, most of us already have. If you've never made an account on the website before, you're going to need to go ahead and click the register button. Upon doing so, you'll be redirected to a new page where you must sign in through Steam. Um... Now I'm going to try to go through this as best as I can, however, as you can see and should already know, I've, I've already registered, so it won't really let me do it, but I can still kind of click you guys through it to give you an idea of what you're looking for. Um, so faced with this page, you click again, sign in through Steam, and it should redirect you again to the Steam community. Um, you might have to log in here if you're not already logged in, I'm usually just logged in to the... Um, To the site anyways and so uh, you verify it's yourself if it's the right account in this case of course it is um, and upon verifying your Steam account it should then direct you back again to the Eurotruck Simulator multiplayer site um, where you should now be faced with the many fields you're going to need to fill to register your account properly uh, including a valid email address which you must make sure you get that right too in my particular case, since I've already registered with this Steam account, I'm getting a message that I can't register again because the Steam account's already been registered. Now, if you get this message and you've never registered before, that'll be really weird, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and create a support ticket. Um, and hopefully the multiplayer staff will be able to help you out, um, assuming you're actually trying to use a genuine Steam account that does in fact belong to you. Um, well, that's not something I can really help you with here. Assuming all this goes correctly, uh, you should now just be able to log into the website. Uh, shouldn't be any problem with that. Uh, once you log into the website, you should just be able to hit that download button, uh, and you'll be redirected yet again. Um, you're going to get two download options, uh, one for the game client and one for the PHP SDK. I I'm not totally sure what that is. It's, it's for web developers, so uh, if you need that, you'll know if you need that or not. Um, most people, you're going to just want to go for the game client. Um, and the game client will be the most up-to-date game client that's uploaded, hopefully, what's running on the servers. Um, and it's a very small download, so it shouldn't take too, too long. Uh, depending on how your browser handles downloads, um, you should just be able to uh, open it straight off. You don't even really need to save it, you can just straight open it. Uh, in my case, Google Chrome and WinRAR are my two programs that are um, used for this kind of opening. Um, I think this is something you're technically supposed to extract, but I find you can run the application within the extraction no problem, or within the archive. Um, in any case, to get the uh, install exe, 
go ahead and run it. Uh, you're going to have a uh, couple of verifications to go through. Um, assuming you've downloaded this all correctly, it should be fine, and you'll be faced with the install wizard, just like so. Um, you're going to accept to their terms and agreements. I mean, it's always proper that you read this, but, um, you know, uh, the big, big rule here that I think applies to most um, users is you cannot re-upload this file. Um, this file that you're downloading by installing and using it, you're agreeing to not re-upload and redistribute the file, so don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Anyways, you accept the agreement, and um, assuming everything you've done is default, like if you are not an advanced user and you don't uh, custom path all your programs, then you should just be able to hit next through there. Now, if you are a more advanced user and you've customized a different path, then you'll go have to go ahead and hit browse and find it. I can't really show you that. That's something that you have set up on your own computer, and you should be able to find where you want to put that. In my case, I just keep it default next. Uh, same with this next one. It needs to be pointed to um, where your Steam install of Eurotruck Simulator 2 is. Again, if you're a regular user, uh, even like me, you know, I just let it go to its default location. Uh, I've never had a problem with that. I installed Steam in my own program files and it just maps there. If it's somewhere else, you, you've put it there, so you should be able to find it in your computer somewhere. Uh, you just hit next again, you know, more of that. Whether or not you create a desktop item icon, it's uh, that's up to you. All personal preference kind of stuff. Um, hit install, and uh, really, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Like, uh, you hit finish, um, launch the multiplayer, and you're off to the races. So, hopefully, this has been of some help to some people, and. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the convoys.